Hi everyone. So this video you will learn what is the basic difference between logical OR operator and logical AND operator. You have seen people are using the pipe symbol and the AND symbol which is basically to ampersand in the code and we'll see how they actually work. I will give you a very basic example of it. Uh, just open this uh, folder in the Visual Studio code and let's create a couple of files in it. So first file will be index.html, obvious. Now we need a script.js for the JavaScript code. So here, let's put some very basic HTML code, basic structure for it. And we need to refer to our script.js here. That's it. So in the script file, generally people make use of this kind of a code. It is like A, two pipe symbols like this, then B. Or they do it like this to M percent. So what is actually happening here? What happens when you make use of two M percent or an AND operator? And what happens when you make use of two pipe symbols here like this? This is basically a OR operator. So let's get started. We need three variables. So first will be A. Let's put my string here. Then there will be another variable. Let's make it hello. Then there will be third variable. Let's make it void. Now we need one more variable, which will basically be a result. So let's make use of a two pipe symbols or you can say or operator b or operator and c. Now let's console log the result. Great. So as you know from the previous videos, I'm making use of live server extension. So right click on this and open it in the Chrome browser. Open the console window and this is the output. Now let's try to understand what is actually happening here. So when you make use of this OR operator, it basically check for the true values. So what, whenever a value returns true, in this case, this thing, this thing and this thing, there are three variables. So if any of them returns true, we'll get that value in the result variable and we'll see the output. So what is the false value? Let me paste them here. So these values are false values. Let me comment them out. If a variable contain false, null, undefined, empty string, a numerical value of zero or NAN, those values are false. So if I'll put null here, let's make it null. Then this thing is false and this thing is true. So we'll get hello here. Now save it and this is the output. If I'll make it undefined here, save it, we'll get world here. See, because this one is true. Now you're wondering what happens if in case all of them are falsy. If I'll make it zero, then all of them are falsy. In such a scenario, whatever the value a last variable is holding, you will get that value here. In this case, it will be zero. See, if I'll make it zero here and null here, then we'll get null. See? Now things take a completely a U-turn when you make use of AND operator here, like this. In this case, if the value returns false, we'll get that value. In this case, this thing is false, okay, A, so we'll get that value and these will be ignored. Now save it and this is the output. If I'll make it true, let's make it my, save it, we'll get undefined. If I'll make this true by putting hello here, we'll get none. And scenario is pretty much the same. If all of them are true, then we'll get the value of last variable, which is void. See? 
so all these values are falsy okay now you're wondering in case you are using some empty object or empty array what will happen in that case in that case they all will return true if i'll put zero here and some empty array here like this and instead of using this and operator let's make use of or operator here so b is true so we'll get empty array if i'll make it an object a completely empty object we'll get an object here i hope you got the point how it actually works see you in the next video have a nice day